Here I am in a form uh, right here, and I did click on the three dot menu over here, and I added Russian uh, to the language. When I want to put the form in Russian, what I'll have to do is click this pencil icon over here. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open a web browser window and I'm going to use this Microsoft Translator right here. I'll include the link in the email. So what I can do is I'm just going to come and I'm going to actually pull this out right here as another window and I'm going to um, set this so we have both um, the form over here and the translator right there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Um, let me go back. And I want to copy. So I did, I highlighted it, control C. I'm going to come here to my translator window and then it's going to translate for me into Russian. I just have to click this copy icon here and I'll put it in this under um, this text box underneath. I did the same thing for one, two, uh, three, and four. So for number five, I'm gonna come here and click on number five. I'm gonna highlight um, email address right here. I'm gonna copy it, paste it over here, and then copy this and add it to this lower box right here. Same thing for number six. When I click on it, it's going to open up a thing for me to um, enter some text. I'm going to put it into translator, copy the text. I just have to add it to this lower text box right here. Same thing for the answer choices. I'll just grab those and put those here. Grab the text right here. And grab that translation. Same thing for phone. And I'll copy and then I'll add it down here. So you'll see what I have to do is I have to provide the translation. You can use this Microsoft Translator where you can translate text. It is, um, I'm not going to tell you it's 100% uh, because. I don't know that there is anything that's 100% when it comes to translations, but I do know that the AI that's built into Microsoft Translator is some of the strongest uh, and closest translation that people have seen whenever I test it with uh, folks in different languages. So just to reiterate, when you're setting a different language in forms, what you'll need to do is open the form, click the three dot menu, Click on multilingual here. When you add that language, you'll need to click on the edit button here, and you'll need to actually go in and edit each one of these by clicking on the question, and you'll highlight the question here. I would have a translator window open, paste the text. Once it's translated on this side, you can just click this copy icon here and paste it. So for each of the answer, each of the questions, and each of the answer choices, you'll have to provide your own translation. So I don't know if you have someone who can help you with this or if you need this uh, translator right here, I am going to include that link and you'll add the translation yourself. So now that I've done a couple of these questions, what I want to do is go back here. And we're going to come and open this, I think, all the way. So now what I want to do is preview the form so we can look at that multilingual form. So from here, uh, the attendees will, or the respondents will see the form they'll be able to click the down arrow when they choose Russian here. The entire form will change. Whatever questions I translated will be in Russian for them. 
So unfortunately, there's no just simple magic trick. Uh, I wish it were. When you click the language, it would just do it for you. Um, but that's not the case. What you'll have to do is go in and translate each of those questions yourself. But once you do it, you have the form, you have those different language choices, and then you can send your form off to whomever. All right, hope this helps. And uh, please let me know if you have any other questions.